think she's pregnant. April 17th, I'm documenting a dog bite. Benefits of a busted back glass. Little pool back there. Natural clouds, I like it. Uh-oh, poor fella. Something went wrong. Look at that awesome work. I'm just now realizing this is a watermelon. Better read the instructions. Hope he likes it. Doesn't see it yet. What? He's scared. Bobbin for apples. He'll retrieve it out of there, but it won't go <coughs> won't go in there. Wait until it gets 90 degrees, he might go in there. Wildflowers. If you're ever thirsty and lost, break these open, take a drink. Stepping into my office. Stepping into my office. It really is amazing. Two words and five letters. No ice. Every time. My goodness. Well, that stands out. Bright blue house at the end of the street. I wish I could remember all of the tricks people use to get out of paying me. One of them is wait until I'm in the backyard, then they take off. And then they say, oh, I'm sorry that I missed you. You were gone when I got back. I thought you would still be there. Yeah, I know all about it. Another one is flirting, even with men. They'll get you laughing, and as soon as they get you laughing, they'll shove money in your hand pat you on the back and say all right there you go man and then you look at the money and it's not the agreed on price so all of a sudden you're the bad guy for bringing it up um, excuse me sir we agreed on 50 this is 40 then they just stare at you for a long time but we were just laughing doesn't that count for anything no it doesn't I know one guy who got tired of it in this case, the lady was bored. So every time he showed up, she popped outside and tied him up for about five or 10 minutes. 
So on his monthly bill to her, he put talking, I'm not kidding, he put talking and charged her some money and that was the end of it. I don't do monthly billing, but I've been doing this long enough to know when people are bullshitting me, trying to get out of pain. Sometimes I think people enjoy not paying me and stringing me along because it takes a lot more energy to do that than to just write a check. So when I finally get pushed to the limit and I demand payment, they somehow turn it around on me like I'm the one who did something wrong and say, yes, sir, we don't want to upset you. Oh, people are so slick and manipulative, man. I, I, I couldn't even do it. I, would, I don't have the skills to do that. I feel bad if I'm late for a utility payment. But that's me. Believe it or not, I have more respect for this lady who hasn't paid me yet. Because she flat out told me, I don't have it. And I had a clear answer. I have more respect for her than these people that I have to beg five times to get paid. I call it low character when somebody tries to get something for nothing. Like I said, I could never do it. I remember a guy who ground up my stump in my front yard and I was worried about paying him in time. And then he's the one who told me, don't worry about it, I'll just send you a bill. Uh, I'll send you an email and you could uh, send me a check. But I can't even understand the mindset of getting something and then trying to stick it to someone. That's a very ugly person to do something like that. The disappointing part to me is that it doesn't bother a lot of people. They go through this life to get all they can get and get over on whoever they can get over on. And they might even joke about it. Tragic and sad. It's actually hard to collect around Christmas. There's a handful of people who give me Christmas tips. But last Christmas, I had $430 that was owed to me, and I had to beg to get, I didn't get all of it. There was like 170 that I had to let go. Um, yeah, I lost them as a customer. They just straight out stuck it to me. All kinds of excuses, but I have different rules for this year. You know, if, if it's a monthly price, and it's not there, I'm not cutting. There's no more of this, yeah, well, go ahead, I'll send it. Nope. If I don't have it, it's not getting cut. And when I implemented that those new rules, I lost uh, one or two customers that thought I was being kind of hard-nosed. But that's okay, at least, you know, I'm not begging to get paid. That's a big reason why I want to cut back to just doing this part-time I just want a handful of people who I can really trust and I've had for years that won't play games with me. That would be very nice.